was captured by the Blue Rovers, photographs as well as Jack camera, data acquisition camera, QVC, stabilized and sped up. It looks normal. My buddy looks like it's on the right side. Here again, it's sped up. It looks like someone's trying to pass on a set. It's also quite possible. This was all without me. More analysis would be necessary to determine which is which. But they had some fancy setups with the simulator. Uh, sometimes on the set, this example here, you can barely see the people in the world on the same set model. There is in the middle. They had a flight simulator set up with a complex modeling of the side matching the generated footage. And all of this is supported by NASA capabilities, which we will show later. This is a model of a small cam, and quite possible they had stop motion animation with a camera inside the model. But the other thing that model is, and look at the footage generated by it. This is extraordinary stuff. Incredibly beautiful. This is John Dijkstra, a mastermind behind Star Wars, who drained over the mastermind behind the Apollo footage with a claim was the mastermind. But look at this incredible footage. That looks real to me. And this is all a computer controlled camera in a tiny, tiny model. I believe they use larger models in the lunar simulation, the Apollo's. Tiny models show extraordinary results. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.